A new report details a shocking epidemic of female genital mutilation in the UK, which is threatening to spread to the US and beyond. One America's Christian Rose explains. Female genital mutilation is on the rise in the UK, and the authorities aren't doing anything about it. The barbaric religious practice known as FGM is becoming increasingly widespread in line with policies of multiculturalism and mass migration, bringing thousands of Islamic refugees in the country. According to a new report from the British anti-extremism think tank Quilliam, the National Health Service recorded over 5,000 FGM cases in the 2016-2017 fiscal year alone. But there have been zero prosecutions due to the lack of witnesses, cultural sensitivity and legal loopholes. We will go into this election with a commitment to tackle the repulsive practice of female genital mutilation. It is a national scandal that there has not been one single successful prosecution, even though this barbaric cultural practice has been illegal for nigh on 30 years. Overall, some 9,000 FGM cases were brought to the attention of NHS personnel in the fiscal 2016-2017. Some 14 new FGM cases are recorded every day, affecting young girls in Islamic communities across the UK. But political correctness has helped the gruesome practice thrive, remaining on the sidelines of public debate and largely outside the spotlight of the mainstream media. Let us start with the scourge of female genital mutilation. It is now wildly, widely accepted that many thousands of British girls every year have this grievous and life-changing abomination carried out upon them. FGM is a common practice in the Muslim countries of Africa, Asia and the Middle East. Despite some Islamic ideologists denying the connection, the Muslim view of women as sinful creatures is encouraging FGM, while the Islamic oppression of women's rights helps keep it under the rug. FGM is also widespread here in the US, with over half a million young women affected as of 2013, mostly in the Islamic communities of the Midwest, California and New York. Circumcision is the reason why Muslim women are virtuous, unlike Western women who run after their sexual appetite in any place with any man. FGM is illegal across the civilized world, and while countries like France have taken robust action to persecute hundreds of FGM cases, law enforcement in the UK is facing political obstacles. British police officials have admitted their superiors have unequivocally recommended they don't advance probes into Islamic crime, including child rape gangs in the towns of Rotterdam and Telford. The reason? Political decisions made at the highest levels of governance. What has happened in the past is it's not been clear both to local authority or to the police that what is being reported is a crime. And I think procedures have improved, I think practices are now different, but but there are still young people coming forward who feel that their voices are not being heard. Leftist political figures in the West claim mass migration would bring an abundance of cheap workforce and cultural enrichment to the stale and rigid societies of the old and new world. However, others believe what it has brought is the suffering of hundreds of thousands of women, while the rise of Islamic education suggests FGM could become increasingly widespread amongst the generations to come. Christian Rose, One American News. We can use your help. Call your cable provider and kindly demand that One American News is added to your lineup. Call today.